Talk about a video with a lot, a lot of potential. There's a sign popping here, possibly a chase. There's a sign 11 by 14 and a sign popping here, possibly a chase. We got this awesome gift box. We don't know what it is yet, but it's going to be good. And a really great deal on the super plastic. Really great deal. Stay tuned. Today's daily comment comes from Billy, who comments on pretty much every video we put out. So thank you so much for all the support, Billy. Secondly, his comment, this was from our last big autograph box where we got the top hit, a top hit-ish from Mystery Grail. And because we are doing some sign pops, hopefully get a good hit out of these ones, but we wanted to highlight that video's comments. And he wrote, great video. Because that's what it was. It was a great video. It was. Let's Undertaker. Be what are the odds? Yeah. I can't remember last it, time. I, yeah. Go watch it. Go watch it. Right I can't now. remember last time I got ex that excited over a pop pole in a long time. Yeah. Probably Charlie Brown before that. Yeah, Freddie. Freddie Charlie Brown. Yeah, that was. Yeah. All right, Lindsay. In this box here, I saw I saw an email pop up or an Instagram post. This is why it's always really good to follow companies and put the notifications on. For a company you're interested in, uh, Super Plastic said on their Instagram or email, whatever it was, they were like, um, how about 69% off? Wow. And I was like, all right, maybe I'm like, they're clearing stuff. And I went, they're like the whole site. Went over there, things were selling out so quick. But I grabbed this. And I think this dropped at the same time as like one of the NFTs, something I was waiting on. Like the, it was like maybe an hour before, half hour before, but I was waiting on NFTs. No, it dropped the same time as NFTs, but I got put in a waiting room for oh. like 30 minutes or 20 minutes. So I was like, all right, I got time. So I went over there and things were selling out. I was scared, I kept checking back in case my time got advanced. Actually the opposite happened, I got sent back. But we did pick this up for like 30 bucks, normally like a hundred bucks. I have no idea what this is. He sent me a screenshot of- like, Possibilities. Yeah, and um, he never told me what it was. She told me some things she liked off it and it wasn't any of those things. Great. We've got a couple super plastic cranky guys. Ooh! Oh! This is a glow in the dark one. This so is a glow in the dark one. We have one that's really similar to this. Yeah, it's um. It's the Baja it's right one. Here. Yeah, grab it. It's really pretty colors. It's probably the prettiest of all the colors of all the crankies. And if you don't know about these, they're spray paint can guys. They actually make a spray paint noise. The top pops off and everything. There's like actually a little spray paint like guy on it. Yep. But this one's the coolest colors. Each has a different set of limited numbers. I don't remember what this one is. We bought them just because we wanted one for a while and the colors are awesome. I love it. I love it a lot. So I saw this for like 30 bucks and I said, well, yeah, 30 bucks. Obviously, I'm going to pick this up. And I figured if it's so close to that, we can probably sell that one. But I think the color is going to be a little different. But the main draw of this guy. Just well, slightly different. Actually, the colors are really pretty on this as well. Yeah. So the top is almost the same. Yeah, I think this one, it does, it's hard to tell in um, on the camera. But this you can't see through the top. This one you can kind of see through. But yeah, this guy's going to be glow. So hopefully like his sneakers glow, maybe his face glows. But you guys see a picture here. We don't know what it looks like yet, but I think these guys are so cool. And if you can pick one of these up for 30 bucks, that's a go-to time to get them. Yeah, I really like these. All right, we're gonna put these to the side and check out the next thing. What's the next thing? It's a spaceship, Buzz. Next up, this box is from our friend Michael. He is a huge, huge Hot Wheels fan. Mm -hmm. He reached out when we got the uh, Hot Wheels NFTs. And one of the things is a redeemable S2000. And the S2000 at the time, the S2000 immediately was the NFT that went up the most in value out of that set. There's a premium, sort of like the legendaries for Funko. Yeah. There are the redeemable premiums. Then there's one really good one, like the Grail one, that's the NFTH. But the S2000, we have that one, and we have the Auto. So Auto, just for reference, Start at 40 bucks and dip down to 30. 
it'll probably make a slight return before redemption. The S2000, I can't remember exactly what it started at. I think when we opened him, he was like 80 to 100. Yeah, somewhere around and there. And we're like, that's pretty good. Maybe it's a little bit more. But then he started going up like 110, 120. So Michael reaches out and he says, hey, I'm not much into NFTs. I don't know how it is, but I really collect a lot of uh, Hot Wheels and I would love to get that one. Is there any way I could pay you some money and you could pick it up for us? And I said, yeah, actually we could do that. Yeah. If you're willing to trust us, right? Because I personally, I don't know if I would trust random internet people, <laughs> but we are trustworthy if you don't know. Uh, maybe, who knows? But so he said, all right, I'll send it out. Sent us, and I think he wanted to pay like over. He's like, I'll give you this much money. I was like, his name is close. No, right now it's selling for like 125. So I was like, you send it over, we'll buy it. And on a redemption date, we'll have it sent directly to you if we can. Not sure exactly how redemption works for Hot Wheels. So I said, okay, good. Right now, what was that thing selling for yesterday? 180 or something? No, like 200. Oh, okay. It hit $200. So it was a good time to reach out, Michael. Uh, cause it's skyrocketed and he's thinking, he's predicting it's going to be around 300 come redemption time. Wow. And so far his prediction is about accurate cause it's been steadily climbing. Yeah. So he said, Hey, because of that, I want to send over this care box, uh, which is really cool. A little care package. And he said, I don't know if it'll be really awesome for the channel. And I'm like, yes, it will. Yeah. Like it's going to be awesome. Let's get the box up here. So like I said, he's a big, uh, Hot Wheels collector. So these are going to be some Hot Wheels is what it feels like. First one up. Oh, oh my god! All right, just to let you know, we have a good amount of Hot Wheels. We're not big, big collectors, like not like Funko. We, but we have, have Baby Mario yeah. in his cart. We forgot to show that off, that we have Baby Mario. Literally um, the cutest one. I'll put a picture here if I forget about it. But every time we go through like Walmart and, and uh, Target, we check out the aisles. Yeah. And this is one I see all the time. It's like different Master Universe ones. But this is really cool because it's it's the toys from the 80s. This is the Wind Raider. Wow. I don't know if I've ever seen this one. But there's a bunch of cool ones. Of these. So let's see what else. Lindsay, what else have we got in here? Oh! Thundercats. That's the actual, I don't remember the name of it. That's the it's actual the Thundercats. Thunder Tank. Yeah, that's the actual vehicle. Uh, in the reboot, they made a reboot one where it was really cool. And that was like, it's all CGI now and stuff. That was really cool looking scene where that shows up and Panther gets out. Wow. So that one's awesome. Oh, oh, how cool. pizza planet truck. This is the pizza planet truck from Brave where she's, everything's made out of wood and randomly you see the pizza planet truck. From Toy Story. Because Pixar loves to put that around. We have the original pizza planet. That one's for Lindsay. That's awesome. I've never seen that and one. And it looks, yeah, it looks like it's wooden. That is so cool. Wow. And he said we didn't know if this was gonna be good enough for the channel. Yeah, this is awesome for the channel. Yeah. Next up. Oh, it is RC. RC car. That one we actually know the name of. Yep. So that one's so cute. I love it. Uh, so truth be told, I got this Funko Pop for Lindsay. And I don't know if I ever told this story online. I don't think you did. You YouTube, told me. On YouTube. I, uh, I got this Funko Pop and it has Woody in it. It's super cute. Uh, it was like 30 bucks at the time, maybe 25. And I was bringing it around me because I was just, you know, I was traveling. So I had it in my car and I got to my friend's house. It was my first time I met one of my best friend's daughters. And I was like, oh, I got an idea. I'll give her this toy. So I give her the, the RC with Woody. And it's funny because it's it's not a toy. It's a collectible. Yeah. So the wheels don't turn or anything. And she's like pushing it around the ground. She's like, this is dumb. The wheels don't even turn. And then I was like, oh, man, I just gave this to a kid who doesn't care about it. And now Lindsay's not going to get it. And yeah, so sorry about that, Lindsay. It's fine. I still haven't gotten it. <laughs> it went to a kid. It went good. All right, what's next up? It's fine. The oh, Punisher. The Punisher. The that, Punisher van. That's awesome. He doesn't know this. Lindsay doesn't know this. She's going to be reminded right now. This goes with today's video. Oh, I do remember now. Now she knows what it is. Yeah. That's awesome. Let me see that. I want to see that up close. Oh my gosh, that is sick. Okay, next up we got, looks like three more. There's a lot wow. in here. Wow, how, how does that fit? Oh, Led, Led Zeppelin. Zeppelin. That is one I did not know they made. That is amazing. Wow. Wow. Holy cow. I did not know they made that. It's a little Mini Cooper van. Aw. Oh yeah, it is. You can tell on the front. Huh. That's, I had no idea they Interesting. made that. Interesting. Wow. All right, I'm pulling out the next one. Okay, what is it, Lindsay? Oh! Oh my gosh! 
It's the Skeletor van. Skeletor van, but look at the artwork on that. That's, that's insane. That's amazing. Wow. This Ooh. is like a who's who of everything awesome in our lives. I mean, the artwork just on this right here yeah. is amazing. Okay, I think the last one in here, which this is so insane. Street Fighter, the oh. Ford Transit Super Van. So, and this is one of those things, right? I grew up my whole life saying Ryu, like that's Ryu and Ken, and all my friends are like, it's Ryu. Uh, I just can't help it, but Ryu, uh, I love this. That was a big thing. Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter all the time when I was younger, literally as a young teen or even like preteen, playing that in the arcade. Aww. This whole set. Amazing. Is insane. We're gonna have to get those like the protective cases and stuff yeah. for some of these. Cause we have Led Zeppelin, He-Man, Toy Story, The Punisher, Street Fighter, Skeletor, Thundercats, and then Pizza Planet from Brave. Wow. Thank you so much. This is this is so cool. Uh, and it is it works out. I don't I don't feel too bad about getting all these because the S2000 is a really really cool thing and we got that early before the price went up a lot. So, uh, overall he's winning a lot. Yeah. But we are winning even more because we don't we didn't take like any risk in sending money. We didn't take uh, you know, any risk in price fluctuations. We just said, "Yeah, if you send us money, we'll buy it." Mm -hmm. And if we have wax, we'll do that. Now, right now, our wax is like $13 because we spent all of it on DC. We spent a lot of money. On, on yeah. And speaking of that, the new NFTs coming Tony out. Tony Tiger Jr. Tony the Tiger Jr. Oh my gosh, Ooh. can't wait for those. All right, let's get all these taken care of, put away uh, for now until we decide where we're going to put these. All right, we got to open Jake Gyllenhaal. What? I don't remember his name. John Bernthal. That's, See, that's right, actually pretty see, close. I knew it wasn't Jake Gyllenhaal, but I I knew there was a reason why I was thinking that his is name. like a, a a sound a similar sound. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now that you guys already know what this is, but he's the guy from Walking Dead, and then he's the guy that just he is the first person that took the Punisher like to a perfect level. I think right, uh, the original one. The one that had Kevin Nash in it, mm -hmm. like the original movie, uh, Punisher wasn't Kevin Nash, but uh, that character was cool and it was fun and it was like a funny side of Punisher, which is weird because Punisher was not a funny character, uh, but it was a cool movie. The second one was really good on the like, gunplay and stuff, but I don't know, the character didn't really match him as well, but John Bernthal as Punisher is amazing. Uh, I'm not sure if you always see this originally. There is a one out of six chance to chase, no matter what we win, because it is the Punisher uh, Funko. Oh, okay. Oh, this, yeah, I forgot that they wrap that's, it. that's what I figured. All right. Ooh, I'm nervous. And this was a really good price. I think it was like, because they also offer a military discount, if you guys don't oh, know yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Which is, which is not normal for like uh, Funko or autograph characters, but they offer a military discount. So but we got a good deal on this one as well. And this is... Oh, it's the common. That's okay. Oh, that's okay. Oh yeah, the the guy on the back. But I love this. This is amazing. I I had to chase a long time ago. I think we gave it away in a mystery box or somebody bought it from us. And I've wanted it back for a while. And what better way to get the Punisher pop back than signed. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but I didn't notice this. Dark Parlor started putting their own sticker on the oh, side. Oh, very nice. So that's really cool. This is, this is one of the... the Sign pops that I hold very highly is seven bucks a pop signature series and the dark parlor originals. Yep, I like getting them from companies like that because other companies are sketchy. Any Macari and eBay sales are sketchy, right? They could be fine, a lot of them are fine, right? The majority are fine, but it's still better just to get it knowing uh, that it's a legit one. What an awesome Funko Pop, and then what an awesome signature like actor to sign it. All right, that's the one of two super chase chances. Now let's find out what the other one is. We don't order from BAM too much. No. Nope. We actually have a couple unaired videos from back in the day when we had our BAM subscription. And then, you know, a lot of times it's like a cool knickknack thing and a signed 11 by 14 or something. And a lot of times they have really cool ones. One time they had like Krang and the Ninstrals mixed with Charlie Brown. That was an awesome one. Yeah, I think that was BAM. 
Yeah. Uh, there's the other, there's Loot Crate as well. Might have been Loot Crate, but the same idea. They do a signature type uh, subscription box. If it has a Funko Pop in it, it's probably worth it. So we'll buy some of the Ultra ones if it comes with like a Funko Pop. This one isn't a subscription. It's a one-time purchase, mm -hmm. uh, and we'll do those. This did cost us like $150. I think $160, but it comes with 11 by 14 and a Funko Pop, maybe a couple other smaller things. Uh, but it, this one is specific. The reason we got this is we know it's Demon Slayer. And they said there's a chance at a chase. So we're thinking, you know, no matter what Demon Slayer pop it is, it's going to be worth for us 150 bucks. Yeah. We have Tanjiro. It could be a Tanjiro. Mm -hmm. We have Inosuke. It could be him. We have a few others, but I don't think it's going to be Nezuko because there's no chance at a chase. Yeah. But I'm also not sure if they have multiple people? like multiple different Funko Pops and maybe Chance of Chase is one of them. Yeah, but, I don't know. But we'll see. I don't want to look too much. The pop is right on top. Oh yeah, it's right there. So we're going to try to hold it like this to the pop last. Try to get the 11 by 14 out. This is a pin. <laughs> I don't know what it is. This is a pin. Oh, that's the guy from the train. Again, I don't remember a lot of their names. I really enjoy the show, but I don't remember a lot of their names. But this guy's the guy from train who just sat there like asleep the entire time and then just stood up and just wrecked house. Just This is another pin. Oh, is that and the... And I don't know who that is either. That's the first guy that meets them. You've seen that scene where Nezuko, like the first time she's a demon. Yeah. And she kicks that demon's head off. Okay, now we're going to see. Okay, oh, this has the cheat sheet in it. So we got to hide that because I don't want to yeah. know. All right, here we go. Oh. oh, that's cute. Oh, I just tried to mix six words there. I love that. That Tanjiro colors are amazing. Yeah. Ooh. A big signature on it. Very cool. Oh, there's another thing under it. There's another print under it. What? Oh, this is amazing. Is like, that Inosuke? Yeah. And again, the other guy, I don't remember his name. It's the crying guy. <laughs> I'm so oh, bad okay. at names. Crying so guy and Inosuke. Amazing. That, yeah, those are awesome. This is um, 325 out of 500 for this. Oh. Now here's the deal. When Bam and Loot Crate do boxes, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll put out like a hint of four things. And they'll say like, you know, hey, E.T., Wizard of Oz, Ninja Turtles, and Marty McFly. Yeah. And then if you're a fan of one of those, you're like, oh, this box is gonna be awesome. And maybe you're a really big fan of one of those. And then you get like a keychain of that one. So sometimes that's a little disappointing. Yeah. But when it's like the whole box is based on one character or one film or one series, then it's definitely something that we can get into. And the last thing we have is the Funko Pop. With these already and the pins, this is gonna be worth it, even if it's the common. Yeah. Okay, Lindsay. Close your eyes. One, so you can open your eyes. One, two, three. I went the wrong way. Oh, that's... That's okay, we don't have this one signed. You've been wanting this pop. I literally said out loud in the video where we got our Tanjiro that this is the one I wanted. Yep. With the mask on the side, and when we were talking about this, this is the one I said. I said, hey, if they do have non-chase versions, I would want this one. Yeah. This works out. Yep. I am so happy. And to be fair, you put it backwards because they put the protector on backwards. So. Okay, so okay, that, makes, that sense. makes sense. Sorry, everybody, for that. This is amazing. The mask on the side of the face. I love this. Yeah. And I'm so glad when I when I saw the Tanjiro sign was mm -hmm. signed, I was like, oh, it's going to be the one I already have. But this is not. Good. All right. It's, that works out. This is the I'm happiest sorry, I've ever been. Sorry, it's not the chase. But... Yeah. This is the happiest I've ever been about not getting a chase. But yeah, you have been wanting that one for real, real. Oh, this is cool. You got some cool stuff today. Just to point out, Dark Parlor Originals Protector says Dark Parlor on top, and it is one of the nice ones with the good sharp corners. Yeah. The autograph is Zach Aguilar. He's also known for One Punch Man and the Seven Deadly Sins. Okay. The signed items. There was okay. There was a few. Uh, for the signed pops. Yeah. Okay. So everybody got the art print, this one. And then there was one of three options for this one. And we, I say we got I one like of the top two. The best one, yeah. This has the colors. There's one that has Nezuko in it. So it's cute, but that one's definitely a better print. Uh, and the other one's actually really good too. 
Uh, so it looks like each of those were probably a th about a third of 500. And then there was like beat up Tanjiro. There was the glow in the dark Tanjiro, probably with the, it's behind it, but probably with the blue. And then there's the Funko moment with the, the fighting scene that's signed by Tanjiro. I like the one we got the best. Maybe. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna watch other videos to see what other people got. Yeah. Because there's a lot of good options. It's not like it's just, usually there's everything's the same except one item has a uh, variant. We but still this is really, really cool. well. Look at this. Yeah, that is the one I wanted. Of all these, yeah. that is the one I want. Absolutely. I'd rather have this than the moment. Oh, without a doubt. All right, just a couple things clear up. Uh, I forgot a lot about this because we ordered this back in February. This was before I got my Tanjiro, even before I got my Tanjiro Chase. Yeah. And then we got that, it was all damaged. We sold it and bought the sign chase. Yep. Uh, so that's why it was a big deal for me to get this. There was a big possibility of this, even though I have one now, I didn't have one at the time. Mm -hmm. Secondly, uh, this one was a true chance to chase. It was one out of six from Dark Parlor was a chase. And then in this, it looks like what I said, the, the beat up one is the chase because he has like marks all over his face. So that looks like that was the chase option, which I'm glad I didn't get because I already have it. Mm -hmm. And I'd rather have an additional one. I still got to get a signed Nezuko. Oh, I can't wait for them to come out with a chase Nezuko so you can get the chase signed. But this box with two pins, two prints, one signed and this pop signed for 150, 100% worth it. Yeah. And it is Beckett certified. So that's really cool with the new style with the scan. Yep. Now it's time for our thank yous. Number one, huge thank you to Michael. This is awesome. I also love how it's a Hot Wheels toys box mm -hmm. and it's the, it looks like it's like a demon dragsters or something. I don't know exactly what it says, but it's crossed off and it's like grown kids. So it's like, no, this isn't for that. This is for grown kids. <laughs> Secondly, thanks to Super Plastic for doing probably the greatest sale of real products ever. Not clearance products, but 69% off the entire store ridiculous yeah thank you to dark parlor for this amazing amazing punisher pop sign and thank you to bam box for probably the best bam box we have ever gotten and thank you guys for watching this is grown kids tv we'll see you later